How's it going movie fans? The 1st of July 2023 is the 71st birthday of producer, writer and actor Dan Aykroyd. An Academy Award nominated actor whose first on-screen acting appearance came in TV movie The Gift of Winter in 1974, with his big break coming when he joined the cast of comedy show Saturday Night Live in 1975. This was followed by his feature film debut in 1977. Aykroyd currently has three projects in production including R.L. Stein's Zombie Town, which is due for release later in 2023. Here the Firewall's top 10 Dan Aykroyd movies. At number 10 is My Girl. Vader Saltonfuss is an 11 year old girl whose mother has passed away, so she lives with her father Harry, played by Aykroyd, who runs a funeral parlour, and her grandmother, whose mind has begun to wander. Vader also suffers from hypochondria, running to the doctor at every opportunity, and is in love with her teacher. The runtime's 102 minutes, and My Girl has the file rating of 6.9 out of 10. At number 9, is Sneakers. In this crime comedy drama, Aykroyd plays Darren Roscoe, aka Mother, one part of a security specialist team who tests company cybersecurity by performing authorised cyber attacks. However, the team is approached by NSA officers and tasked with retrieving a particularly important piece of equipment. The runtime's on 26 minutes, and Sneakers has a file rating of 6.9. At number 8, is Get On Up. This biopic depicts the life of music icon James Brown, showing how he was able to emerge from an upbringing of poverty to become the godfather of soul and one of the most influential musicians of the 20th century. Aykroyd plays Ben Bart, who becomes James Brown's manager and friend. The runtime's on 39 minutes, and Get On Up has a file rating of 6.9. At number 7 is Behind the Candelabra. Based on a true story and adapted from the memoir titled Behind the Candelabra, My Life with Liberace, which depicts the last 10 years of pianist Liberace's life, as well as his six-year relationship with the significantly younger Scott Thorson. Aykroyd plays Liberace's manager, Seymour Heller. The runtime's on 18 minutes, and Behind the Candelabra has the follow rating of 7.1. At number 6 is The Blues Brothers. Adapted from the characters created for Saturday Night Live, Aykroyd plays Elwood J. Blues, a former blues singer and the brother of Jake Blues. Following a three-year stint in prison, Jake is released and finds out that the orphanage where the pair were raised is due to be shut down, so the brothers set out to raise the funds to keep it in business. The runtime's on 33 minutes, and the Blues Brothers has the file rating of 7.2. At number 5, is Chaplin. In this biographical comedy drama, which depicts the life and career of actor and filmmaker Charlie Chaplin, Aykroyd plays Max Sennett, an actor and studio head who has known himself as the king of comedy. Sennett hires Chaplin when he arrives in America before Chaplin decides to take control of his own career. The runtime's on 43 minutes, and Chaplin has a file rating of 7.4. At number 4, is Driving Miss Daisy. Aykroyd received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor for his performance as Bully Wehan, who in 1948 is the 40 year old son of Daisy Wehan, and who employs 60 year old black chauffeur Hope Colburn to drive Daisy around after she drives her car into her neighbour's yard. The runtime's 99 minutes, and Driving Miss Daisy has the file rating of 7.5. At number 3, is Trading Places. Lewis Winthorpe III, played by Aykroyd, is a wealthy commodities director at commodities brokerage firm Duke & Duke, who becomes the victim of an experiment conducted by the owners of the firm, who disagree on the topic of nature versus nurture, and decide to swap the positions of Winthorpe and poor black street hustler Billy Ray Valentine. The runtime's on 16 minutes, and Trading Places has a file rating of 7.6. At number 2, is Gross Point Blank. In this action crime comedy, Martin Blank is a professional assassin who, following an assignment gone wrong, is sent to do a job in his hometown of Gross Point. This coincidentally coincides with his 10 year high school reunion. Aykroyd plays rival assassin Grocer, who wants Martin to join his union. The runtime's on 7 minutes, and Gross Point Blank has the file rating of 7.9. At number 1 is Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters Afterlife. The first and fourth installments of the Ghostbusters film franchise, 1984's Ghostbusters kicked off the sci-fi series of movies by introducing the Ghostbusters team, including Ray Stance, played by Aykroyd, as they go up against the Ghosts of New York, while Afterlife takes place 30 years after the second film, introducing new characters while remaining a continuation of the mainline story. The run times 229 minutes, and Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters Afterlife has the file rating of 8. Thanks for watching, there won't be a video next week, but on the 15th of July we'll be counting down the Firewall's top 10 Forrest Whitaker movies, and if you enjoyed this list, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe.